Hey people, GamerGuys21 here. Today I am playing RA2 Part 2, so we're back with some uh, more fun zombie killing times. Last time we left off, if you want a little recap, uh, we learned about blue herbs, we came here to RPD, we met Claire at a gas station at some point, you know, fun stuff. If you want more in-depth, I would recommend checking the video out. There will be a playlist. In the description below. I mean, it's only one video right now, so might as well just like the video, but now nah, I'll link the playlist. Why not? Um, I do believe we, yeah, as you can see, we found a dark room, checked out this roll of film, and we found one of the three medallions that we needed. Or we at least see a photo of one of the three medallions. Well, I guess we'll just move on now. Now we get to check out uh, the second story. That guy's definitely alive. Yeah. I mean. Saw that coming a mile away. Huh. Okay, well, he's getting back up. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, excuse you there. Whoops. Well. Oh, what the? Where did he come from? I mean, surely he didn't come from the save room. Was that the guy I saw up here? Surely not. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and die for me. There you go. Okay. Are you dead? Oh, yeah. I kind of... Walk by him here. He is not dead. I think it seems like to me that when they're down, you only have to shoot them one more time. If they're still alive when they're down. But I don't know. Don't quote me on that. Okay, second floor. Do we got a map for up here now? Oh yeah, you know what? This guy had some. Get some good old ammo. Yeah, real bummer to miss some of that. Alright. Uh I'm not entirely sure what our objective is besides just find yep there there you go find three medallions uh oh men's locker room coffee machine which would probably be nice right about now once again recording this at three in the morning i know i make pretty wise choices on uh my sleep schedule what can i say i'm a wise man all right let's go check out the locker room Huh. Well, I don't reckon we can walk through that, so, yeah. Alright. Huh. Now, is he alive? He looks alive. But he's not? Okay, that's surprising. Three letter code. Got it. Ooh, shotgun shells. If I could, uh, go ahead and pick them up. There we go. Don't have a shotgun yet, but I'm sure I'll have one soon if they're giving me shotgun shells. Oh, okay. Press the button to light up this corresponding lamp. Light them all to open the safe. The buttons must be pressed in a certain order. Pressing a single button out of order will cause all the lights to go out, and you will need to start the sequence over again. Okay. That's what this is. Uh Okay. Uh I mean I click some. Two thousand years later. Bottom left. Top. Boom boom. Boom. Uh, boom. Boom, boom. Okay. Ooh. <clears throat> Man, are we smart. Fair part. Um, oh, this would be for... The, the, uh... If you remember in the last video, there was lockers that we could open with... Buttons, like numbers. 
and we were missing a couple keys, and I think maybe that will let us substitute one of the keys with that. Which would get us probably something we need. Man, what could this code be? I don't imagine anything around here will tell me. <clears throat> also, if I still sound like I'm dying, that's because I am. When I get sick, I seem to get sick for quite a while. That and I've been kind of yelling my throat off, so I just have a very sore throat. Oh, I guess we can go up. Hmm. Do we go up or do we go back? We'll go back. All right. Here we are. As you can see, um, well, we need two. So we can unlock the whole left side. So let's see. We can't do 203, but we, which is unfortunate. But we can do 208, which is more shotgun shells. And then if we do three, we could probably do 103. Oh, we can also do 102, and 103 is a new knife, and that's another gunpowder. So we don't really get anything story-wise, but we get some loot. Okay, what did I say? It was uh, 208 on this side. And then... How do I, like, cannot take it anymore? <clears throat> I think... Excuse you. I think it might be locked in there now, so I guess it would have been wiser to probably start with a three. But, you know, too late now. No point in worrying about it. Alright. Now we'll need to make our way back to the stairs. Alrighty, let's see here. What is up here? Got some boxes, got more handgun ammo. Man, I cannot wait for, like, probably a couple episodes in when we have none. Huh. That's funny. Another code. Also, I'm going to ignore all that creaking. I think that'd be, uh, in my favor. Oh! Okay. That's big. We got, uh, we got the spade key. I think I remember a spade door. A little dying. It's a little dead right now. Okay. Um. Huh. Why? Well, I just about poop my pants. That, if you don't know, was a liquor. And those are not good. I do believe they're blind, so probably going to be some stealth coming up. <clears throat> What's this? Any survivors? Okay. Consider this a gift for anyone still unfortunate enough to be alive. Yeah, so me. Keep your eyes peeled for those creepy... Yeah, that look like they were skinned alive. Yeah, lickers we call them. Oh yeah, see, they're blind as bats, like I said. But they're hearing more than makes up for that. It's kind of like a... Uh... What, a quiet place? That, I mean, this came out before, so. I guess quiet place is more like this. So long as you don't run around like a total idiot, guns are blazing. You should be able to slip right by them. Probably. Either way, make like my grandma and creep around as slow as possible around them. Yeah? Anyway, not that I want to go, but duty calls. That, and I've got a friend to avenge. David. Okay. Can't remember if we... Is that Martin? The dude that we met last episode? Oh, I can't really remember. Man, we have... I should probably put some stuff away, but... Too late now. Look at this, I can't even carry these boards. We'll come back for them later. I mean, how useful can boards be? Okay, we'll come back to this. Also, I just saw you. Yeah, I saw your arm sticking out. They tried to hit me with a little, little, little jump scare. Would have worked probably if I didn't already see him. Oh, uh, C4. I uh, okay. Guess we're gonna blow open that. Some guy scribbles. Dang those corporate buttheads! They cut me off after all I've done for them. But if that's how it's gonna be, so be it. I'm gonna have a little fun of my own as the world goes to crap. I boarded all those filthy pigs up in a steel pen and set some C4 
All I gotta do is detonate it and say sayonara, suckers. That's no fun if it's over too soon, so maybe I'll give that one raving loon something to really squeal about. Yeah, maybe I'll give him a little toy and tell him kill the guy next to you. I'll spare the others. Wonder what it'll do. That sounds like a fun guy. You yell about justice and pride, but how many times did you go against me? Your own superior. Yeah, you're such a good cop. So good you had to die. Man, is this fun. I need some music for this. Okay, Hannibal Lecter. Well, I'm assuming that's what he's talking about. <laughs> Holy smokes! Yeah, these weren't even zombies from the sound of it. It sounds like it was just a lunatic. That's the thing people don't realize. Also, this is going to be uh, real nice. Yeah. Now we can go pick those boards up. But people don't seem to realize when things like this, uh, when stuff hits the fan, while there are zombies to worry about, I feel like people are probably the bigger threat. Well, I say people don't realize this, but I imagine a lot of people have that same thought. I'm not really special here. Thinking that. Um, alright, well, I guess we'll move on. Oh! Marvin. Are you okay, Marvin? I've got something to show you. It's important. Copy that. I'll be right there. Man, that man's just feasting. Honestly, it'd be kind of rude for me to interrupt him. I'll leave him at it. I mean, ain't bothering me. Well, I can't go across, and it looks like... There's like a jack down there. So instead, we'll go across. Uh, I mean, yeah. Oh, huh. Would you look at that? Well, anyways. Oh, that's not good. Oh, we got a big man over there. Okay, slow down there, buddy. Oh, well, man, that guy got one tapped. Shit. Yeah, I kind of just ran right at that lady. Also, I'm going to need that knife back. And I'm going to deal with you real fast. Can I have that back, please? Yeah, there we go. Oh, it's broken now. Brain dead. Okay. I I don't know if it's like the bigger they are, the... Oh! <laughs> Dang, that man's got hops. Okay, what? Okay. I'm assuming I don't have whatever it is that need, needs to be there. You know, a jack. Uh, okay. Book. Red book. This is something. I... This is like something you'd examine. Looks like it's being held by a hand at some point. You know what? That reminds me. Yeah. That's the exact same book. Okay. I thought so. What was that? Is that you? I don't remember you being here. Because, I mean, I killed... Whoa! He is still alive. Son of a bitch. Not for long. Man's resilient. There you go. You dead now, buddy? And that broke my knife. Okay, so stabbing them does use the durability. Now, oh, well, would you look at that? I mean, I still got a stab. Damn it, balding. Not that I'm judging. You know, probably if you're balding. It happens to the best of us. All right. <clears throat> Let's give it our best shot here and guess. We'll guess this arrow. Uh, scales and fish. Man, could you imagine though? Why does it tell me about that? Is there like. Is there something that gave me a hint? I mean. Oh, okay, we got the upper floor map. Now we can see all the rooms and uh, all the goodies we've missed, like the dial lock and the valve. Where does this go? It's locked. Got it. More gunpowder. I can make more ammo. And then combine you with that. Now I have a craft ton of ammo, which will be gone 
before you know it. And this is a spade door, so we can unlock this. Where's this lead? Oh, back to Marvin. My good pal Marvin. Yeah, it makes me stop aiming at him. That's funny. By the way, a little... Oh, can't see. You know what? My... My, uh... Sentence will continue after. Oh! It's Claire. I knew she'd make it. You know her? Yeah. Name's Claire. I came into town with her. She can get to that courtyard. Through the second floor. East side. I'm on it. Man, Marvin, not looking good. Exact opposite of good. That man is looking ill. He's looking at how I feel right now. Okay. Back to what I was saying. We'll say there's probably going to be a lot of, uh, a lot of silence. You know, it's kind of hard to be entertaining when it's like, you know, what do I say? What do I say at the time? I'll try to be entertaining. Like I said, I'm a bit sick, you know, a bit tired. I'll try my best. My best may not always be adequate, but, you know, make do. Also, that is now the second safe we found, and I still have no code for the first one. Welcome to Raccoon City. Did you know, while we are the home of pharmaceutical giant Umbrella Corporation, which we always know those people are good, Raccoon City is a vibrant and dynamic city with a long, rich history of its own. In this guide, we'll introduce you to a few of the more unusual points of interest in our city. I must offer. I gotta breathe. Okay. Free an M&M over here. Raccoon City Police Station, which is where I am. The building is in the center of town, or the building in the center of town wasn't always a police station. In fact, it used to be an art museum, which, you know, that actually makes sense due to all the, uh, I don't know, it does seem very art arty in here, if that's a word. Various features like the unusual clock tower and the goddess statue in the main hall remind us of the bygone era. Orphanage. Just a few blocks from the police station is an orphanage founded and run by the Umbrella Corporation, which is probably not good. With the help of generous donations from businesses and citizens alike, the building is known for its stained glass window, which attracts visitors from around the world. Okay, very cool. Thank you. We'll go ahead and unlock you. Now, okay, we are done with the key now. I was checking that, because I knew that was something that would come up eventually. So, we've unlocked all the spade keys. You know, ooh, control opens the map. That's nice. I'm, ooh, an art room. We'll go in there and ignore whatever it is I'm hearing. Oh, more reading. <clears throat> okay. The ruby that capita captivated, man, captivated. Woo, I think I'm having a stroke. I'm giving myself one. Edward the Black Prince. The pearl that the Queen of the Nile milk drive. The diamond that led a queen to the guillotine. There's no end to the number of tales related to the appeal of jewels. The mysterious redstone is simply the latest to sparkle among them. Like those other jewels, this one's origin is unknown. It's said that it once adorned a noble woman's jeweled box and was even dedicated to a wise king. This fall, the stone, as long been shrouded in legend, will be on display during auction. There are sure to be many eager enthusiasts. Enthusiast. Man. Being tired is one. One heck of a thing. Okay. Yada yada. Dear reader, one would do well to approach with care for devilry, devilry lies and beauty shadow. This jewel has turned caring nobles who love their subjects into despots more terrible than Ooh, that name. And we have the tales to prove it. Seriously, it's precisely because these jewels are bathed in blood that their luster stirs something in the hearts of people everywhere. Thank you for having me read all that. Also, that's for the shotgun, so that's good. <clears throat> oh, and that's also good. It's my main man. Uh, King something. Well, we know that you like to have the book. Can I do this? Okay. I figured that I would need to do that. So, is this one of the medallions then? I believe so. I believe that's what that red gem is. Or jewel. Okay. Now let me take a look at this thing. Dang. Oh. 
Oh. Huh. Pricey looking gemstone. Well, can I look at this now? I was trying to admire it, but I guess that works too. Kind of looks like one of those ones you'd get like, uh, I don't know, is that some like children's birthday party in like a goodie bag? You know, you'd get one of those fake ones that you glue onto your art projects. Anyways, that's a couple things we got to do now. We got to go get the shotgun, which is going to be nice. I can go get my shotgun shells back out. And we got to go put this. I'm assuming this is one of the, is this, nah, this isn't really a medallion. It's just a gem. So I'm not really sure where that goes. All right, here we are. It took me forever to get over here, but, you know, we made it. We lived. Didn't see anything exciting along the way. No, uh, undead or anything. Okay. I went ahead and grabbed the shotgun shells. I put some stuff away. Uh, ammo goes down here. I'll put this over like this. Is this going to take up two slots? No. Huh. Well, that's pretty cool. Also, can I... Can I, like, change the number that they're in? Is that... Can I just do... Oh, yeah, okay. So, we'll have this be one. Two. So, I'll be like, one, two, and I can reload. Why would it be... Okay. Man, maybe makes sense. I was gonna say, why would it be in here and not already loaded? Because it's like, it's not really on display, is it? I mean, I feel like it was kind of sitting there to be, like, be ready to be used, but... Maybe you're not supposed to store... No, you can store loaded guns. I don't know. I couldn't tell you why it's like that. Anyways, I will... I guess meet you back in... Where that little guy was growling. Alright. Here we go. Uh, we're gonna just go ahead and take a peek. Oh! What was that? Is that, a, is that like a plane? So, nice herb. Uh, I thought there was growling over here, but I think it might have been whatever that was. Oh! oh. Ah. Man! Now that sucks. Oh, is that Claire? Claire. Was she just standing down there when that happens? Okay. Why'd you not, like, make a run for it? I saw a helicopter coming down at me. How do I book it? She just sat there and watched the thing happen. And then we didn't even check to see if the pilot was okay. I mean, obviously he wasn't. But, you know, we could have checked his pulse. Maybe he was just knocked out. Hope. I'm sure we're gonna find him. Yeah, okay, there it is. I was gonna say, you know, there'd probably be an explosion considering it crashed into a building. Uh oh. Well, that looks like a whole lot of Claire's problem. Yeah, I think she got the memo. Man, now is not the time to be having a little pep talk. Get like, well, I mean, got a lot less than it looked before. Is that what I think it is? Okay, we're moving up. Also, there we go. Good enough, I guess. Not the most organized inventory, but kind of hard to organize when you have like no spots. We're just gonna slap this down here. Okay, well, door locked, obviously. I am assuming I can't. Ooh, there's zombies on fire up there. Assuming I can't go back up there. Or I can, but I can't go through that helicopter crash, so there's nothing else up there for me. So we're gonna go this way. Wait a minute. Oh, we are back where that guy got bitten in half. Yeah, this guy. You guys alive? I 
I got, I, I got to imagine one of you is alive. Oh, well, probably that man. I mean, I guess technically none of them are alive, but you know what I mean. What the? Yeah, then we got... Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and need a backup for me. Dude, this man's taking a seat. And he's still alive. Go ahead. I mean, this is just not even fair. I'd just be mad if I was that man. And you're alive too? Well, not anymore. I think I'm gonna go ahead and board this up because I don't want to have the boards anymore. Also, I can cut you open. We can go in here and check out what was in here. Funny enough, I was just mentioning earlier in the video that I wanted to come back in here, but I was like, oh, but I can't. Yeah, okay, real funny. What's this? A fuse, okay. Man! That is crazy looking. So who is out there yelling? Oh, I think I might have seen them. Oh, maybe. I don't know. It's blocked off though, and I'm going to leave it like that because I don't want anyone walking in. Oh, I think I need... Is this for the... For the gas? Whatever. Oh. Oh, crap. I'm gonna leave that there. Oh, well, I probably should have saved the board for an air. Shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... Oh, you got a flash grenade in there? Where? Right here? Man. The bummer. Um, we're just gonna have to come back for it. I can combine these two. Probably better to save it for, you know, red and green. But I kind of have a full inventory right now. I haven't really. I've only been hit like intentionally once. Also, can I like? No. I'm just gonna see if I can drop things, but it doesn't appear to be that way. Guess I'll move this. Even though I don't really want to. Oh, okay. Big man. I remember this man. Uh, he broke through that door. Whoops. Missed a bullet. Try not to do that, but... Can't hit them all. Okay, if I remember correctly, I made a whole big deal about this thing missing a fuse before, so... Yeah, that makes sense. Was there anything I missed in here now? No. Okay. Well, now I can put some stuff away and then combine these to make some shotgun shells, maybe. Oh, and it's handgun ammo in there. You know, we'll come back for it. We'll come back for it. Perfect. Of course. Oh, that didn't look right. Yeah, you're gonna get up, aren't you? Nope. Okay, perfect. Where were you shotgun bullets? On this guy? No, I want the shotgun. But yeah, there we go. Oh, is he alive? No. Okay, don't grab that yet. Grab the gunpowder. Then grab... I guess I technically could have grabbed it because I'm going to be able to combine it without having to actually put it in my inventory, but... We're, we're already here, you know. Whoops. Move you over. There we go. So I need to go turn the gas off, and I... I think there were more things I could cut open with the bull cutters. I mean, obviously there are because they're not done yet. Whoops. Put this up there. Base. Oh, that's oh, that's cool. I think I'd want knife to be one though. Which doesn't look like I can change, so whatever. Okay, I guess I will see you when we get to the gas. All right, here we are. That was a fun, fun trip. It's like going for a freaking hike to get across the building. Okay, let's move on. New, new stuff to look at. Um, nothing too entertaining. We got a water heater. We got a shower that was left on. So we're wasting the water heater. That guy is definitely alive. Man, was I wrong. 
They knew what they were doing with that. Okay, any loot? Anything I can grab? Gunpowder! Anything else? No! Uh-oh. Well, this is when it stops being fun. It becomes more like a horror movie. Or I guess a horror game. Um... Now, is walking speed? Like, how do I walk... How do I, how do I walk... <laughs> That's what I'm saying. How do I walk quietly? I'm gonna go ahead and walk in there. I'm just gonna hope it didn't just see me there. And pretend that I'm not dying on the inside. Where are we? We're like in the... Are we in... We're in the stars off the stars. You know, that's uh, some Resident Evil lore. A battery? Man, we got too much stuff. What am I supposed to do with all this? Oh, here we go with the more reading. <clears throat> Which is not like... I'm not mad that the game has reading because it needs the lore. I'm just mad that I have to read because... With many reasons. One of them being my throat. Okay. Office supplied kernel relocation notice. Heat resistant three number... Combination is safe. Okay. Does this tell us anything? Okay, this tells us this is West Office, which I think is where we did the whole Welcome Leon puzzle. So it's left 9, right 15, left 7. This will be saved, so I guess I can do that. Okay. Very cool. Um, So I guess we can go do that now. Another flash. Great. Um, need something for this. Oh, we need a, we need a dongle key. Of course, of course, we need something to get into the computer. I guess it makes sense, you know, as a police department, we kind of dumb to leave things. Uh. That unlocked. First aid spray. Can't pick you up. What are you? Gunpowder? We'll combine you with you and make some more shotgun shells. So we have a crap done. Also, are you hearing what I'm hearing? There you are. Can I knife you from here? Nope. I don't know if I missed any more of those. I don't remember hearing them, but that doesn't mean I didn't miss them. Um, man, who's over here with like the leather jacket? I mean, she said she was here looking for uh, Chris, right? Or her brother, which is... We don't know who Claire Redfield's brother is. It's Chris Redfield. Same man who punched a boulder. Pretty crazy man. Okay. I mean, I have a shotgun if I have to take the fight. I'm going to have it equipped. That seems smart. Because, like I said, I'm playing with a keyboard and mouse. I'm not entirely sure... If there's like a go slow button or not, you'll have to let me know if I'm doing this wrong in the comments. I'm kind of assuming when it's near you, just don't move. Like right now. I'm also assuming you don't really want it to run into you. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and back it up. Yeah, go ahead, buddy. Don't move. Man, that man's all brain. That man got his thinking hat on. Alright, go ahead. Feel free. Just go that way. Man, him freaking out is kind of freaking me out. Oh, cool. That's what you love to see. Oh, this is just great. Well, we're gonna go ahead and use this. And you know what? I'm not letting that slide. Or maybe I am. Let me in here. Okay. I'm assuming this is a safe room. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna.
You know what? We're gonna let it slide today. Maybe not. I, I, I need to know if I can kill him. I wanna know. Oh, snap! Uh oh. I'm used to like Resident Evil 4 where I can parry people. What? It Dude, he's doing a stanky leg. Whoa! <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna need that back. Man, that was not pleasant at all. It was uh, very tense the entire time, and then I got pooped on anyways. Also, great. Where did this go? Oh, back to here. Okay, what did I get again? I got a battery. What is that for? I don't know. I do need to go get... Man, I wish I kind of just had just a single uh, green herb. I don't want to waste the double. I'm not even in danger yet. I also don't want to limp around the entire time. Eh, I'll leave it. I'm fine for now. What? Okay, what am I doing? What even just happened that entire time? Right. First of all, don't know what this is talking about. Maybe I do. I don't know. Uh, lion statue, dial lock. Yeah, okay, we need to go to... Where is the... Okay, right here. West office. What was it? 6, 15, 12, maybe? I can't really remember, but I have the paper. Let's check it out. Ah. Well, I was completely wrong. So, keep in mind, do not let me try to keep track of anything. If, it, if there's ever a time where it doesn't automatically save the information, I'll probably just write it down. 9, 15, 7. Okay. 9, 15, 7. There we go. Ooh. That's nice. Been needing another one of those. So that was worth it. Now. Marvin ain't looking too good. You know what? We are, what, we're 50 minutes in? We'll go on a little longer. This one might be a little less long because of uh, my serious lack of sleep. It's already 4 in the morning, and I am kind of dying. You know, it's one of those days at work. Where it's like, man, this is fun. Let's just put... Oh, you know what? Matter of fact... Yeah, I'm tired. Quality needs to be good enough. So I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna end in here before I'm like dying and can barely formulate a sentence or a thought. So, update so far. Uh, pretty good game. I mean, I have no different comments than what I may have said before in the previous video. It's fun. I would recommend playing it if you haven't. Though, I would... Mm, now, yeah, I'd recommend you go in, like, the order of 2, 3, 4, and then... If you care more about the horror side of Resident Evil, and less about the, you know, action shooter, then maybe, maybe you don't even need to play these ones, you can just play 7 or 8. Though 7 and 8 are pretty action-y, shooty as well. But... Anyways, with uh, with that, I guess I'm out.